This is the Vita front screen. The various uh, options here that can be selected, such as the application that you've chosen. And today we're going to show you play and record the basic application of a Vita. To activate it, you press, press the clapperboard button. This is set for two channels, so two channel thingies pop up. We can slide out the clip selector, choose show all the clips on the server. We can scroll up and down that list of clips. The, the, the list is dynamically updated from the server should a, a new clip arrive. And if we want to put a clip into a channel for a, to make a playlist, we simply select the clip and drag it into the chosen channel. We can add another clip. We can put another clip into the other channel. And so we have the basics of, of a playlist or two. The top left display on channel one shows us a little mini transport panel, shows us the time code of the clip, the duration of the clip, and two or three other functions which we'll show you in a minute. So the first clip is loaded and ready to play. We selected play, you can see the time code incrementing as it plays, you can see the duration decrementing as it plays. There's a transport panel available for jog, shuttle, stop, mark in, mark out. So mark in an in point, Chris. And an out point. And now we can go back to that in point and play. The, if the clip is of less than five seconds duration, a warning is displayed, so you, you, you can see that. It's a little yellow triangle. On the slide-out panel, we can change the mode of play of the clips. In this case, we've got a, a, the, the green arrow shows a shot box. You play it clip by clip. But if we change the status to automation, we can now play, play the first clip, second clip, third clip. Or we can loop the clips. Various modes are available. So stop that, Chris, and go over to the search on the right hand side and you'll see a, a, a keypad and we can enter search criteria to find clips on the server. So to activate search we touch the uh, little keypad. You don't you touch the server icon. You touch then the you, server icon, then you touch magnifying the glass and you select Starting, starting with. with or containing, in this case starting with, we choose the letter E, enter. Up pops the list of clips beginning with E. We can then put those into the playlist. We have the ability to create user bins. So for, for a specific project, a custom bin can be created in, into which you can put your clips for that project. To put a clip into the user bin, you select it and place it in the bin. So it's very easy to build a project from, from hundreds or thousands of clips on a server and then easily select those and place them again into a playlist. Once the user is finished with that project, the, clips, the bin can be emptied and start again. And you empty the bin by pressing the user icon select the clips to be deleted and delete. The bin is now empty. To create a user bin, press on the server icon, then press user, then type in the name of your user bin. With the user bin you can see that there are symbols on here. This no entry sign means that no clips can be currently dragged to it. If you press on this user bin symbol, you have to switch to a plus sign, and this means that it allows clips to be dragged to it. These clips can come from any server, as long as the Vita can see it, or it can come from clips lists and playlists. 
or other bins. And then throughout this project, you will be able to use this bin and drag and drop any of these clips into the channels as you can with the all clips bin from the server. Once a user bin uh, item has been uh, finished with and you want to remove it, you hold this or press the select button from this fly out here and then you can actually select a clip. This will actually turn orange and give you a bin symbol. This indicates that you are able to remove that from the list of the user bin. If you want to delete the entire bin, then select the lower icon and this will give you the opportunity to say no or yes to whether you want to remove the user bin. So we hit yes and that removes the user bin.